Hey, it's Dry Bear. After an unfortunately long downtime, the trading post has finally landed in Dragonflight. A cool new permanent fixture that allows you to log in, earn currency, and then unlock transmogs, mounts, pets, and various other goodies. So today we're gonna talk about what the trading post is, how to use it, plus some do's and don'ts, and some cool tips. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear, come by and say hi. So the trading post is located in either Orgrimmar or Stormwind, depending on what faction you are, and it'll be located in a location that's quite central. If you're Horde, it's right in the center of Orgrimmar, right next to the bank inside the Valley of Strength. And if you're Alliance, it's inside Stormwind City, right here underneath uh, the Stockade Dungeons. It's right in this little area here. So if you're Alliance, this is what you're looking for. The first functionality you need to know is that you have this chest here in either city that allows you to unlock or collect your Trader's Tender. Trader's Tender is a unique currency that you get for the trader po trading post and nothing else. And it's located right here. So you can see that uh, total there. Anytime you're collecting Trader's Tender, it'll come out of this chest. So just be aware that that is there. Supposedly, we're going to get 500 Trader's Tender per month just for logging in. You just have to log in come to this chest and unlock it at the, the first of every month or any point in the month. And there's other ways to get extra. I believe they gave us a little bit of extra because of the downtime and the initial start. And then if you open up your dungeon journal, your adventure guide, there is now a traveler's log uh, tab on the far left side. This is essentially a battle pass. It is essentially just a quest system that you can do various things to unlock additional Trader's Tender. There's also a unique reward, and that is Ashadar Harbinger of Dawn, which is this mount here. And it's actually uh, supposed to work like the, the time of day. So during the daytime, it is this color, this sun color. And then during the night, it shows up as this color right here, which is pretty cool. So you have your day and night cycle on this more like warden, uh, night elfish kind of mount, which is super sick. Uh, inside of this, you're just going to be doing these quests to unlock additional tender. The requirement for the mount, I wanted to cover this first because I'm sure a lot of people have questions on it, is to earn 1,000 tender in the first month. It doesn't specify this and it's quite confusing because right now I currently have 1,500 traders tender. It doesn't count the tender that you get uh, from the, the merchants. It has to be the tender earned through the traveler's log. So you actually have to get up enough points to unlock this, get 10 of these, then you can get the mount and you have it in your inventory, which is pretty cool. There's all these different quests that you can do. Some of them are, I've noticed some of them aren't working. They're, I'm sure they're working through tons of bugs and live launch things that, that make this all function. So just be aware that some of these work, some don't. I did uh, a heroic vault clear uh, today. So it does show progress for Mythic Plus and for group content. Um, it doesn't seem to be showing everything here. There's some things like, there was one that is resurrect people and I did a bunch of that in the raid and it doesn't have any progress. So there's some things that work, some that don't. Uh, and I can I can leave down in the description um, some details on some other things. Some of these are really easy to do, like show some love to fallen dragons, go up to the aspects and slash love them. Same thing for uh, the aspects here and for the, uh, the, the dragons here inside the raids. And then you can also go, there's one that I just did just to make sure it was working, which is you go and you slash love a uh, mannequin, you slash love a mount, you slash love one of the vendors over here, and then you slash love this guy, Garlock, and you'll unlock it and get 50 points, which isn't tender, it just points towards this first reward here, uh, which is just, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. So you have to get these to get the mount, and it has to be done in the first month. Uh, I'm not sure, they haven't specified if that means that it's only available in February and then never again, or if it's your first month, um, let's just be on the safe side and assume that this is only February, so you have to get it done this month just by doing all of these. It should be pretty straightforward to get that done overall. And that is, that is the trading post. What you'll do is you'll come, uh, as you're you know unlocking more things, you'll wanna come to one of these trading post vendors uh, and you activate it and click on it and it'll open the trading post that you have. This is a rotating storefront that you will be able to click through and modify and look at because it'll give you different options. There's a couple features in here which are pretty cool to uh, to see. Uh, you have all these these options. You can see that they have a duration on them. So these are available for February, and that at, at the end of February, all of these will swap out for new offerings. Some of these are unique and different that uh, don't exist in the game. Some of them already exist in the game, and there's different things you can get and of varying rarity 
depends on what it is that you're looking to uh, have on your character in general. Um, but yeah, just kind of click through the things that you want. You do have the option to freeze an item, which means that if you're not sure you want to spend the points on it yet, like say you, you know, you want a mount, but maybe this isn't the mount for you and you're thinking about it, you can pick it up and you can drag it to freeze it here inside this, which means that when it rotates over to the next month, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to still have it in your collection. It'll probably will just have one minus one rotating through that. So this will just be something you check on every month. You log in, you go to the box, you open it up, you get your currency, and then you check what's on uh, on auction, what's in the window, uh, if there's anything that you want, um, and there's gonna be all kinds of stuff going on here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You're just checking in on the box, doing these uh, as you go about your playtime. Hopefully unlock this cool mount that has a day-night cycle on it, and then uh, check through it. But just so you know, this mount is only from points, and your trader's tender always comes from this chest. I have a lot of people that are asking about that because they say that they do something or they unlock something and they don't immediately see the tender show up in their currency. It's because you have to come to this chest to unlock it and accept it. But that is the trading post, a new permanent feature. Uh, it's got a few issues right now, but hopefully once that gets all sorted out, we'll be good to go. And I think it's pretty cool. Well, let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.